Welcome back to Pop Modern Plays. I am again your host, Alan, and we are continuing our descent into the madness that is the indie first person roguelike Eldritch. Um, we, last time, you may remember that we got spooked by a creepy, yelly snake of death, and uh, we got a gun and a knife. So we are in business on floor number two, and we're gonna keep exploring. Uh, the video quality on this series, from what I've seen of the archive, seems to be not great. I have no idea why. I'm recording in basically the most ideal scenario ever, which is a quiet game with... Oh, hey, buddy. Damn it, he saw me. Damn it, he saw me. There's no avoiding this. Where is it coming from? Die, motherfucker. Die. I'm gonna keep looting. I need the ammo, man. Um... Yeah, so I forget what I was talking about. Let's just keep going and not go down there. I was told this was an easy game. Maybe it's actually easy. I mean, I haven't taken much damage so far. I'm just super creeped out by this shit. And I don't like jump scares, and I didn't think this would be the kind of game that would have lots of... These motherfuckers! Oh, I'm popping that guy immediately. I don't care if there's anyone else around that hears. Asshole snake, there you go. Good stuff. I was friends heard me. Hey, buddy. Let's see if I can get a stealth kill. Be super cool. Hello? Also, in the hint, it says when you lean, you can see enemies, but they can't see you no matter what, so lean away. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep this guy behind a wall, see what he does. Walking, he sure is walking. Oh, I'm totally getting this guy. There's no stopping it. No, he did not see me. No, 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 no. He totally saw me. <laughs> Die, you fuck. Damn it. Fortunately, still no damage taken, so we're in business. And I keep saying we're in business, I feel like, but I, we are. So, gotta stop looting things. Because, like the game said, if you loot things, they respawn, so. It's an interesting mechanic, I guess, if you want to make the game more relaxing, you can stealth. Oh, not even that. But if you want to progress, you have to sometimes cap some fools, get some money, get some ammo. Uh, frame rate's taking a little dip here for some reason. Gonna carry on. Oh, snaky fucker. Oh, and what is that eyeball thing? Oh my god, gross. My toes are curling up thinking about it. Is that an enemy? Oh, this breathing is so bad. I don't like it. I'm gonna shoot it. Oh, it wasn't an enemy. But now the snake sees me. Alright, I'm gonna go right up to the snake and let it scream in my fucking face because I don't even care. Do it, you asshole. Do it. Oh, wait, there's two. Oh, wait, fuck this. Yeah, no, I can't. Now that eyeball's gonna respawn as a live eyeball, that's good. And I'm just spawning so many enemies. Right hey, blue guy's back. Oh, he totally saw me. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking joking? He saw me? He's down there. Nothing behind me. That's my footsteps. I don't know why I keep hearing doors opening. That's the scariest thing ever. Okay, we are just stealthing. Oh, let's not go up that letter. Okay. Very quiet game. I feel like I would like to play this with some music instead of the default just creepy music. That's a rock. That's a rock. Nothing really else over there. There's one more square on the map, but I'm not gonna... Probably have to go down. I don't have a key to open that door. Homeboy's still around here, I believe. How much ammo do I have? Three shots? Okay. We got Screamy McScreamo over here. Maybe I can just get past him. I don't have to deal with his bullshit. Oh, he doesn't see me. Great. Delightful. Fuck y'all! Oh god, I fell. I didn't know there was fall damage. But am I surprised? No. Okay, we got a thing over here. Keep checking our corners. Oh my god, the eyeball's back. Shit, the eyeball's totally back, you guys. He totally's gonna see me. I'm not going that way. Ugh. This is unsettling. What is that? Oh my god! Oh my god! That's disgusting. Creepy noises. Don't like it. Not gonna... 
I'm not gonna loot the, the mage because I don't want to fight any more mages. I just want to fight. Can I just play a pacifist playthrough of Eldritch right now? Is that an option? I mean, I suppose it is. I just have to not kill things, but... Fuck, man. Everything wants to kill you in this game. Uh, aggressing. Spikes everywhere. He got even the fucking spikes make creepy noises. I hate this. Uh, uh, door. Hello? Anyone? Free money? There's nothing about this room? Okay, then. Let's take the cell ladder. Ladder? Ladder. Okay, whoop. Sneaky, sneaky. That crab's guarding the exit. Is there anything else here that should be creeping me out? Fucking Krabby Patty over there. Might be able to do two, two, two floors this episode. Mm, 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 mm. I'm just gonna kill it. Fuck it. You can't see me. Die. And I'll loot it. Fuck you. I'm at the exit. Whee! <laughs> it almost didn't go through for a sec. Okay, we are on floor three now. Sounds are getting creepier. Game is getting weirder. Keep my gun out just in case. What the fuck are these noises? Oh, I hate this. Oh, they're fucking breathing again. It just sounds like a dude is really frustrated, you know? Like, oh, God, I got another day of fucking running around haunting dudes, eh? There's something in here for sure. I'm, I'm close to something. I'm close to something. I know it. What is making the walking noise? What? the fuck is anything? <gasps> I don't want to move. This is... I'm paralyzed by fear right now. There's so much shit in this game to scare you. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Get the fuck away. Get the fuck away. Get your buddies out of here, damn it. Those are the breathy guys, I believe. <sighs> I'll loot one of them. And then I'll be outie. God. I wonder what, like, a, yeah, I think I'm going to try playing this another time with, like, no, like, off-camera, no, uh, no in-game music, just kind of relaxing, because it's really not that, like, I'm doing fine, three out of four health, you know, I can just kind of explore if I want to, but, I don't know, something about, like, the atmosphere just makes me, like, the noises, it's, it's all in the sound design, the visual design is garbage, if you ask me, I don't hate it, I mean, it's clearly worked on, there's a clearly hard work on it, but, this eyeball guy really wants to hang out. I'm not having it. Hey, I got another bullet so I can kill his friend. <gasps> oh, I lost my gun from earlier. Damn it. Well, Eyeball McGee over here. Come on, bring it. Bring it, you rat fuck. Mm, we're gonna make this our big challenge of the day is kill Eyeball McGee. I'd love to stealth him, but oh, he's stuck. Oh, he's very stuck. Let's just get at him. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you're dead. I'm not even gonna loot him. Oh my god, what is that? <gasps> no! No! Well. <sighs> That's the way this episode's ending. Resurrect in the library, possessions lost, artifacts stay. Any books you unlock for remain unlocked. Didn't get any books. Start a new life at any time. Okay, so let's, uh... Whoa. Why is there a Twitter icon next to the, resur the resurrect button? What the? Oh, that's a browser. Oh, that might break the stream. Um, What is it tweeting? I want to see. Oh, it just tells you how you died. And then it lets you tweet that out to people. That's dumb. And we're back. Let's use the rest of this episode to look at these books. Because that was a shitty... Basically, I saw a creepy, disgusting dude, wanted to, uh, say hi to him, wanted to party with him, and then, nope. The game said, you're going to fall into that pit, and not only are you going to fall in, you're going to run into him and die. So, at least we know this game can get pretty weird. Uh, let's try and find volume two of that, uh, history of this place book. These are pedestals for things. Maybe this is, like, how you beat the games. You have to find the three things to put on those. That would make sense, logically. Uh, 
exploring. This episode might be a little long. That's fine. I'll let you guys read the lore with me. That's fine. Three. Let's try and find volume two and get them in order. Volume three again. The history of the library, volume three, four. The history of the library, volume three. Wait, in the early twentieth century. Let me show, sorry, make sure they're the same thing. They are. That's weird. Identical books. Is this volume two? No, that's four. I guess I maybe the room is like meant to be run around in a circle. I feel like I we found volume two in the first episode, didn't we? Or is it right here? Nope, that's four again. What the fuck? I don't know why I'm crouching. There's no enemies in the library. At least I don't think so. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I think two was up here. Let's check. Do, 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 do. That's three again. Two, there we go. Thousands of years passed, and the old ones slumbered in their prison. In the late 19th century, archaeologists in Arabia unearthed the site where the ritual had been invoked. Their disturbance rippled through the fabric of the cosmos and awoke the ancient beings. Forgotten horror spilled forth, and Earth was again in peril. That's, yeah. It's 3-3 now. Uh, 20th century, old ones to render Earth for the second time. The Guardians reconvened in New England to perform, hey, that's us, to perform the ritual of binding again. Modest library was chosen to host the right, and the Guardians elected among them. The librarian to remain at the prison, protected from further disturbances. <gasps> Guys, I think that's me. I think that's little old me. At a small library in New England, the Guardians performed the ritual of binding to a prison, the old ones. I don't know why I put the emphasis on New England, but... The librarian, a guardian chosen to protect the site, was locked away with the terrible beings, but unbeknownst to the other guardians, an errant word spoken during the ritual shattered the librarian's mind and memories. Oh, interesting. And also there was, I believe, an implication at the beginning in one of the first li dictionaries, libraries, bleh, books, let's just say books, that, um, I'll head back to that first area, there was the implication that maybe her memories are being wiped with every run. Which explains a lot about why you um, have to start from zero every time. Let's see, where do we start? And also, why is there fruit in the base? I never, I don't really get that. All right, it was left of the books. That's the big book, and then you go right. This is where you start. Okay. And there's a book. Oh, actually, let's check the mirror. This is how you customize your character. I tried going for like a Lara Croft type. You can also make guys, girls, all sorts of people. Let's stick with this. Let's give her a cooler outfit. Yeah! She's like a female Nathan Drake. Hell yeah! Also, like I said, I haven't uh, seen every part of the library. This is what I was looking at. An explorer's journal. Look at that another time. Or you can look at that on your own and play Eldritch on your own. It's available for $4 on uh, Steam. Four dollars, three dollars. You should check it. I'll check it and post in the thing in the video description. Um, thank you for joining me. I'm definitely gonna try some more of this soon. I don't know how much of it I'm gonna play. What with the whole being terrifying thing. Um, I guess I can make one more episode tonight. It's so uh, let's do a quick one more run. Try a different door, um, and that'll be it for the Eldred series. Because I don't think I'm gonna want to play through all this, especially on the. Uh, for the web, for the, the YouTube channel, I mean. Uh, yeah, so next time on Pop Modern Plays Eldritch, we're gonna go into another one of these books and be whisked to a magical adventure.